Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. I love all things Disney Lounge, Fly Star Wars, Harry Potter. Shop Disney had a sale on and if you know me and you've seen my videos before, you know I love lounge fly and you know I love a sale. They did release a new lounge fly which I will get on to, but I did get three lounge fly backpacks. One of them was brand new so it wasn't in the sale. Two of them were in the sale. Now I did want to get the Dapper Dan's one, but by the time I decided on that one it had sold out. So I don't have that one, but I do have this one, which you can't see because they're very kindly put card in front of it for me. But if you've seen the thumbnail and the title, it's a very snack oriented video. Now I won't lie, and it happens all the time, sometimes you buy something and then it goes on sale, there's nothing you can do about it. I recently bought, I don't know if you can probably see it there, the Waffle Lounge Fly. It was half off. That one flew off though, I'm pretty sure that one went out of stock quite quickly. But the other snacks were half off. So I effectively got one lounge, two lounge fly for the price of one. That was rude not to, isn't it? That's what I'm telling myself anyway. Because the popcorn, I'd seen it before and I was never fully decided on it. But for half the price, I mean, I'm going to. So the retail was £78. And it was literally 50% off. I'm pretty sure I only paid maths. I paid half price. I'm not going to do maths on the spot right now because I'm going to embarrass myself. Now the tag does say that it's scented. Where would it be scented? The balloon doesn't smell. Not the balloon, the popcorn bucket doesn't smell. There's some popcorn just there. I don't know if I can... Oh, actually, right in the middle, just on top of the popcorn bucket, I suppose it's to emanate some popcorn coming out. There's the faintest, like, savoury smell. So it must be that part right there, because with the waffle one, it's just that little piece of butter on the front waffle that smells. None of the rest of it did. So I'll do a quick 360 to show the whole thing, sorry if it's reflecting a bit. This one is an all over print, I'll show you the back properly in a second. So all of them will have the same popcorn bucket on the front, but then the placement and colours, well they've all got popcorn buckets, but the colours will be different on different backpacks. But the full print is right there. Isn't it beautiful? What's the bottom? So the bottom is just like a plain red colour, very similar to the popcorn bucket up top. It has Disney Parks lounge fly on the side because it's one of the parks collection. I do quite like it actually. Very faintly is kind of the outline of some popcorn within the popcorn bucket. I'll hold that up close enough and move it a bit. You see, oh sorry, where it goes a bit lighter just here. It's popcorn! I do like Disney popcorn. So we'll have a look on the inside. I don't remember seeing these anywhere when we did some shopping in Walt Disney World. Chuck the paper. This lining is beautiful. There's nothing in a pocket most of the time. Ow! Most of the time Disney Parks bags, what am I doing this to you, don't have inner pockets. Some of them do. Most do not. Get out. Packaging. That's a really nice lining. It's basically like the popcorn boxes that you get with the lines down and the Mickey shapes and the different colours. That's actually a really nice lining in there and it's the entire way through the front, up the back, all over. Oh, I like this one. It should also be the same lining in this front pocket. So if you look at it side on, you can see just there, there is a tiny pocket at the front with a zip. Oh yeah, that's the same lining there. And actually, if I, hold, I might have to hold it sideways. You can see the popcorn a bit better on that top bit. I like this one. But yeah, it was just that 
tiny bit there that had an ever so faint smell to it nothing like overpowering just like the faintest savoury smell so technically it is scented that is number one the other one eh, pop that there the other one that I got oh don't move your head like that when you've got ears on Hannah oh dear anyway the other one that I got that was also half off pretzel now this one we did see in Walt Disney World it was pretty much everywhere Oh, it's one of these Ricky bags. Okay. We did see this one everywhere in Walt Disney World. So that's probably why this one went on sale. I'm not surprised. Not that it's not a nice backpack. But when you compare it to Waffle, you can't touch Waffle. Is that pocket... Is that front part wonky? I'll show you front on in a minute. We might have a wonk. Does this have... Okay, so it does have a scented tag there where where am I smelling I'm just gonna start sniff excuse me it just smells like plastic bag all I can smell is like this sort of smell smell not the sides no I can't I'm not smelling anything that's different to like the normal plasticky sort of smell I'm not going to sit here for five minutes sniffing the whole thing whether it's because it's been in this sort of plastic bag which is a bit different but hey ho it says it's scented mine doesn't appear to be whether I'm just not smelling it that well but I'll start with a 360 on this one and again all of them will have this main pretzel part on the front and then the rest like up here and on the back that will be like a random all over print I mean with these ones you can't really go wrong because it's just a Mickey pretzel. So placement wise, you're not going to go too wrong. But they will all have this pocket and again, tiny little pocket at the front there. With a little zip. Right, if I hold that dead straight, I feel like it wonks a little bit towards this side. If I try and hold that as straight as I can. Do you see that or am I just imagining it? I might just be imagining it. If I move the tags, that is back with the Mickey Bread dolls. And what's the bottom? Just a lovely cream colour. Does that look a bit, is that the same colour as this? A smidge lighter, I think. Just the smidge. A tiny little smidge. This one doesn't have a price, but I believe this retailed also for £78. Of packaging. Ooh. Oh my word! I'm gonna try not to hit the camera when I throw it over there, haven't I? Sorry, folks, it's a bit noisy for anyone with headphones on. Righto. Very basic inside. It's it's a bit dark. The inside smells. The inside smells savoury. I'm not sure if the inside is supposed to smell savoury. Okay. I'll take it. Anywho. The inner lining is slightly darker than this colour. It's more of like a dark mustard colour. And there's just like squares dotted about. And there's Mickey heads. But in the shape of a square. So it's a square Mickey. Hopefully that's going to come up and you can see what I mean. They're kind of like square Mickeys. It's a little bit strange. It's nice though. But like square Mickeys. Why does the inside of mine smell? Well, it's definitely scented, isn't it? And the last one, which was full price because it's brand spanking new. Oh, they did have ears as well. I didn't get any of them. They had the waffle ears, the popcorn ears, and the pretzel ears, which are Loungefly brand. They were also, I believe they were half price as well. Mickey Premium Bar. This one came empty, empty. Open, empty. And it also has this part of packaging under the pocket because of, oh, get out the wooden stick 
because that is a bit I mean it's longer than the backpack but if I hold that close it's longer than the backpack so it's gonna have to sit on a shelf and bend personally I would have preferred this to be a bit shrunk so that that sat flush and wouldn't curl under just my personal opinion something that I've also noticed with this one and I couldn't place at first why I felt like it was a bit eh is you will notice the front with this one and the front with the popcorn one it has the pretzel then all over this one does not have a mickey premium bar on the front except for the big one so like it's got it all over the sides here it doesn't have it on the front it's just the one and then the rest is plain i think that's what foxed me a bit i'd kind of expected to see these mickey premium bars that are on the side and the back on the front as well whereas they've kind of chosen oh there's like a plastic oh that is satisfying but it's stuck get off well that just traveled right back anywho they've kind of done like a chocolate dripping effect they do have again matching ears and spirit jersey they all have a matching spirit jersey to them and they've done this design on the spirit jersey so the bottom of the jersey is like the cream sort of ice cream color and all across the top where it says like Walt Disney World or Disneyland it has that kind of dripping chocolate effect on there that I quite like but they only had the Disneyland jersey I personally prefer the Disney World ones because we've not been to California Disneyland we've been to Disneyland Paris but we've not been to the California Disneyland and I kind of want to visit there first before getting the jerseys if that makes sense let me know if you do that as well if you feel like a bit of a fraud wearing something from Disneyland if you've not been or if that's just me being a bit silly anyway 360 now it does say it's scented as well so you know I'm gonna give you a sniff in a minute but we'll 360 it first now with these ones they're kind of they've wrapped up the I want to say bandages why do I want to say bandages because it looks like they've put bandages on them they've wrapped up the straps I love it because I don't know if I can get this plastic off without it making a mess I probably can't if I just lift that they've got that dripping effect on the, on the strap as well you can see here it kind of goes from that chocolate color into the I'm just gonna say like chocolate and ice cream look at that oh I do like they've done that on the strap that's clever the print is the Mickey premium bars gotta love a mickey premium bar with a little bite out of the top oh no not all of them so the one on the front does have a bite taken out of it there are some though that are a full mickey premium bar and then some with the bites taken out now nope Ooh, chocolate oh hold on okay so if i try and show you this well there's a slightly darker section if you try and follow my finger that goes around here up there and around sorry I've got the window open because it's really warm there's like a darker line around there it's probably like to shadow oh, probably just a shadow that smells a little bit of chocolate so it is scented so if you can see that slightly darker part just there that part does smell I like the bottom oh no the bottom is plain and mine has a big old mark on there I oh, don't know if you did that come up you can see it just there there's like a darker line on there never mind no one's gonna see a bum are they in a line in time holy moly she's packaged rather substantially goodness me the there's no inner pocket I didn't expect one though with part bags like I said the part bags don't tend to have skip skip the inner lining it's like what colour is that like a peach peach as a base and they're Mickey premium bars but the colour is definitely more of a peach colour you can see the difference there and there and it's mickey premium bar look at that so 
now I've gone from one snack lounge fly to four. And I'm not sorry. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favourite and if you got anything in the Shop Disney sale. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.